All right, guys, so today, I don't know, a little bored. So we're probably gonna end up uh, messing around with the Civic today. Um, I think I'm gonna wire in the, the three port Mac boost controller, boost solenoid. Punch it! Go! Yeah. <laughs> Look at the feet! Look at the footwork! Go, Jay! Go, Jay! And shift! You have to hit the cl clutch! Mm. Yeah! Alright, guys, so here I am with the boost control solenoid install. So this car, apparently the harness of this um, DX, it's obviously, it doesn't have a, a wire to tap into. So I actually had to um, put a pin in there. So luckily for me, um, Xenocron hooked me up with some pins that actually fit in the socket. So I just um, had to get the right one. They gave me um, a few of them, different sizes, so uh, obviously I had to, you know, trial and error, see which one fit the socket of the ECU, so then that worked out, and then I had to get some spare wire. This wire is going to run to the solenoid. All right, so the vacuum lines... So I was just running wastegate pressure. So I had this line, pretty much this line was connected. So it was just um, wastegate. So I had to find a T, I got a T, cut it. And then that T, that T runs to the solenoid. The inlet of the solenoid, which is number one. I have a three port um, boost controller solenoid. So one, is inlet and then two is outlet two outlet goes actually to the top of the wastegate so i'm gonna mount this over here just like that so that's how it's gonna run and then one wire goes to the to a 12 volt source and the other wire actually goes to that wire that i uh, tapped into um, into the intake, oh, intake, into the ECU. So I have to run that wire from the ECU all the way to the front of the car. All right, guys, so I actually, um, I just put this together. So I'm running a PO6, but um, I uh, actually, instead of me tapping into the fuse box for 12 volt um, switched, for uh, the solenoid, I actually tapped into A25. So I pinned A11 for uh, the solenoid, one side of the solenoid, and then I also pinned, um, I tapped into A25, I soldered it. All right guys, so from the inside, I routed the wires under the battery tray, and then now it's alongside the frame rail. And I sneaked it past the headlight as well as the um, Radiator. Now I'm about to solder these wires together. All right, guys. So here's the boost controller wired up and plumbed. It's wired up to the ECU, and then it's plumbed. So I just got a new battery for this car. Actually, I'm gonna start it up.
boost controller. Now I'm hooked up to Honda and to test the output, to test it, you actually could just go to test outputs and it should buzz. So you go to test outputs, uh, let's see, online. So I'm online right now, go to test outputs, PWM, pulse width management, boost control output. So right now it's at uh, five, 5%. What's going on guys? So today is a different day. Yesterday I couldn't test out the boost solenoid because of the weather. Um, there was actually a tornado warning in effect yesterday. So today we're gonna give it a spin, test out the car, see what it does with 5% duty cycle on the ECU. Um, usually it's at 10 pounds of boost, so we'll see how that goes. Um, all right, let's go head over to Mexico. Alright guys, so today we tested out the boost controller on the Civic on 5% duty cycle. We didn't gain any boost, which is good because we're only running pump gas. Um, during those pulls, we didn't really floor it uh, because the car was just spinning and it was just too traffic to actually make a real hard, decent pull. So, um... Probably next time we'll give it another round. All right, later. Peace. Like, comment, share, and, and subscribe. subscribe.